Bye bye my retinol at 1%. Mm. Did you know that the new EU cosmetic regulations puts retinoids under scrutiny? Let's talk about it. If you're not aware, retinol, retinol acetate and retinol palmitate will face restrictions in cosmetics in the EU, which affects the United Kingdom as well. This is enforced by the Scientific Committee of Consumer Safety. The new concentration will be set at 0.3% for face products, which was previously at 1%, and 0.05% for body products, effective from 2025. So what does this mean for you as skin professionals? As I know many of you are still selling and stocking 1% retinol. Well, while the new regulations only concern the EU, they will for sure influence products worldwide. Brands that are aiming to sell in the EU while complying with the new regulations will probably have to adapt their formulations in the USA and Asia as well, as brands are very unlikely to invest significant resources in market-specific formulations. However, this restriction isn't entirely bad news for you, as this will offer you more flexibility in building your client skincare routine. Lowering the concentration of retinol may reduce efficacy, but it can also minimize undesirable effects, resulting in gentler formulations for your clients. For your clients that are used to using high concentrations of retinols, there are multiple options available. So option one involves incorporating additional ingredients that target signs of aging. So for example, you can add copper peptides into their skincare routine, or the brands will be incorporating copper peptides in the retinol, which will compensate for the reduced concentration while still enhancing the efforts to combat aging. Another effective ingredient which will influence the retinol concentration is Bacature, which although a direct substitute of retinol, it can produce similar results by stimulating collagen synthesis like niacinamide, and it can act as an antioxidant that can also firm the skin. There is so much more you can do. You can use low concentration of exfoliating acids, such as AHAs, with low concentrations of retinol. This has actually shown in numerous studies to give you impressive results that experienced clients would appreciate. Option two is to switch your client from retinol to retinol aldehyde, also known as retinol. Since the regulations do not address retinol, its current concentrations remain unaffected. Therefore, you can recommend retinol products to your clients, which is more potent. We discussed this in our previous educational video and it can also meet the needs of experienced users. With retinol's recent increase in popularity, the availability of affordable and effective retinol products has significantly increased in the recent years. So by implementing these upcoming changes in your business, you can stay ahead of the game and ultimately enhance your client satisfactions with your services. And sadly cry over your 1% retinol that you used to love. Do you want to enhance the quality of your consultations? If so, Comment the word guide below and I'm going to send you a free ingredient guide that will transform your consultations.